G'day Magpie fans, how are we all today? Sherrod Wellingham here reporting from the Westpac Centre. This week we're uh, heading into our first week of finals, coming up against the Big Bad Hawks. We are uh, looking forward to it, we can't wait to get out there on Friday night. This week is uh, Daisy's 150th, so we're going to go around and have to chat to the boys about uh, all things Daisy. Very good. Thank um, you. Now Daisy's uh, 150s this week. Well, I believe you made it. How many good ones out of 150s has he done? Oh, about three. Three? <laughs> he got them all for free too. All for free. And he got... Do you remember when you met Daisy? Um, remember eight. No. No. No, I don't, to be honest. Uh, yeah, I do, actually. Um, yeah, when I first walked in here and uh, he showed me a bit of love, so it was uh, really good. You get a long way with Daisy, don't you? Yeah, he's a nice guy. Get on really well with him, no, he's a... <laughs> Hi Brownie. Come on Brownie, talk to me. So yeah, I um, actually met him when he was playing TAC Cup with my older brother, Critter. So he, uh, he sort of looked like he did in his first year, a real skinny kid with that big blonde wig and um, I thought he was a little bit of a flog to be honest when I first met him. He was real cocky. And There's a blue whale in the pool at the moment. Blue whale skinnies would be lower though. What's your funniest memory of Daisy? Funniest memory of Daisy. I remember a pizza got thrown under someone's couch one night when we were leaving a place, but yeah, leave that. He's not actually funny. He just looks funny. Probably when he um, cried um, and hugged Mick after a game. Um, could have been his first game. He dropped a couple of jokes this morning that were pretty funny. Yeah, that was true. Yeah, in the meeting, that was, that was pretty good. That was pretty clever by him. I got a good chuckle out of that. What's Daisy's most annoying attribute? Oh, his hair was, but he got rid of that, so um, he goes all right now. He's got a little bit of mow, he's got a little bit of party on top, so... Uh. Um, when he does interviews, he just like pulls funny, funny faces. <laughs> there was, there's Hater. Great hairs, man, when you interview. Stop it, they're all over your chin, man. <laughs> Why? It's not about me, it's about Daisy. Maybe he's... Um, his hair used to annoy me. I didn't like his, I didn't like his hair either. How stupid did he look? Yeah. He played no, like 100 a, games with that. I a couple of photos the other day thinking, what was he thinking? Before the game, when he was kicking the footy around in the rooms, I'm trying to have a kick with Reedy just back and forth, and Daisy kicks by himself and just boots barrels or whatever and thinks it's funny if it hits you. So. Yeah. 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 <laughs> no one cares about your 150. <laughs> <laughs> It was Heath Shaw's 150th last week, for those of you who didn't know, but no one really cared because he only played 12 good ones out of 150. <laughs> He's no good. I don't like him at all. <laughs> so do you reckon Daisy would rather surf the perfect wave or take a screamer on the MCG? Oh, I reckon you'd rather surf the internet. <laughs> <laughs> I think he'd probably surf the perfect wave because he's already taken the screamer. Once Daisy finishes footy, what's he going to do? Catch the perfect wave. Ah! Uh, he'll, be, he'll be in the media. He'll uh, triple M sort of spark and he'd fit into that crew pretty well. Clicky kind of big boys club. Yeah, just the full of banter, which Daisy enjoys. And I reckon he'll, uh, he'll be a media star, similar to like Dermy. I'm picturing being a bit like Dermy. Travelling around the world, ca trying to... Sur golf circuit? Golf circuit, maybe. Yeah, he doesn't mind a bit of golf, I think. And... Um, Probably catching a few waves, I think. Well, there we have it. I've uh, chatted to a couple of boys about the old DT Thomas. Some nice uh, comments made. Congratulations to Dale Thomas, 150th this week. Hope you go out there and destroy finals like you have done over the last couple of years. Looking forward to going out there with you, and uh, congratulations on a personal note, mate. But uh, that's all from Sherrod Wellingham signing off from the Westpac Centre. See you down there Friday night. Make sure you get down there. Bye.